Okay guys, so right here we have the mighty Shimano Antares A. And this reel is the current and reigning quarter ounce casting plug king. And it got that title several months ago by just barely beating out the mighty Matanium MGL in a very fierce close cast battle. Now just in case you're wondering, you know, what's the big deal about a quarter ounce casting plug? Um, I'm going to give you my opinion on it. Now if you watched my 2020 casting Olympics video, at least the first part, you'll see that there are several reels out there no matter what the price that can cast a one half ounce casting plug a long way. But when you cut that weight in half to a quarter ounce, that's when you start to see a separation between regular reels and elite reels. And that's because the quarter ounce casting plug requires a reel to have a lightweight spool and good brakes. And I'm gonna go a little bit into the brakes later on. So the Antares A has been sitting on top of the quarter ounce casting plug standings for several months now. And that's because I really haven't had access to any reels that I thought could beat this thing up until recently. So I've recently gotten my hands on several reels that in my opinion could potentially assassinate this Antares A. And the first reel is the Abu Garcia Revo EXD. And this is a reel that Abu Garcia specifically designed for long distance casting. And then I got my hands on Daiwa's flagship, the Steez SVTW. And then we had a generous subscriber send me three reels, and out of those three reels, there were two reels there I thought could challenge the Antares. And the first one, of course, is going to be this Revo Premier. And then we have a sleeper of the group, and that's the second reel, the Fluger Patriarch XT, which unfortunately now is discontinued. So if you're wondering how I came to the conclusion that any of these reels could challenge or beat the Antares, I'm going to throw up a graphic on the screen for you. As you can see, all these reels have significantly lighter weight spools than the Antares. And these weights are empty without the spool bearings. So let's go down the list here. Now, the lightest spool here belongs to the Daiwa Steez at 9 grams. And then second place goes to the Revo Premier at 9.2 grams. And then third place goes to the Revo EXD having a 10 gram spool. And then even the cheapest reel here, the Underdog Fluger Patriarch XT, has a lighter spool than the Antares at around 11.1 grams. So as you can see, that is the main reason why I think at least one of these reels has a good chance of dethroning the Antares. Now of course, spool weight isn't everything. The braking definitely is going to come into play. And the great thing about this cast battle is that not only do we have five different reels from four different manufacturers, we actually have five different braking systems as well. So the Daiwa is going to be sporting the air brake system. The Premier is going to be sporting Abu Garcia's flying arm centrifugal brake system, the IVCB6L. And the Revo EXD is going to be sporting a modified version of the mag track system which is probably the most popular braking system in the world and then the underdog patriarch xt actually has one of the better braking systems here in my opinion and that is the dual braking centrifugal and magnetic from doyo very effective system and of course your antares has shimano's svs infinity all right so enough talking let's get out on the field and see what happens
Okay guys, so I'm back from the field and before we get to these results, let's go over a couple of things real quick. Now the first thing is, due to time constraints and the fact that I was testing so many reels, I limited each reel to only three casts a piece. And also, the rod that I would normally use for this test, I thought it was in my car, but when I got out to the casting field, it wasn't in there. So out of all the rods that were in my car, I picked what I thought was the best option and that was the 6 foot 8 medium powered Shimano Bantam. All right, so I'm going to put the current record over in the corner and that's held by the Antares A. That's 176.9 6 foot average that it achieved versus the Metanium. And let's get to these results. Now coming in a shockingly disappointing last place is the Abu Garcia Revo Premier. Now the Premier averaged a very disappointing 135.97 feet. And I really thought this reel had the best chance to dethrone the Antares. And I believe it was held back by a couple of things. And one of those things is the brakes. Now, these brakes are very finicky and they're not nearly as good as Shimano's SVS Infinity. But I spent nearly an hour, you know, deactivating, activating brakes in combination with adjusting the external dial. And the best I could get out of the Premier was 135.97 foot. But more on that later. So coming in a surprise fourth place is the Fluger Patriarch XT. Now the Patriarch averaged 145.91 feet, so a good 10 foot clear of the Revo Premier. And I attribute that to the fact that the dual braking system on this reel is awesome. I was actually able to go to one centrifugal brake on inside and then just fine tune with the magnetic dial here and the spool was very very controlled hardly any overrun no backlashes and that allowed this patriarch to come in fourth place and i think everyone agrees that they probably expected this reel to come in last place but once again unfortunately the patriarch xt is discontinued all right coming in third place in another massive disappointment is the Daiwa Steez SVTW. And this thing averaged 146.63 feet, so it barely beat out the much cheaper Fluger Patriarch. And let me tell you what, I didn't really think this reel would win outright the whole thing, but I expected this thing to average at least 160 foot, but it couldn't. And more on that later. All right, so coming in a shock second place is gonna be the Revo EXD. So Abu Garcia redeems itself from the poor showing of the Premier with the excellent showing of the Revo EXD, which averaged 158.25 feet. So this thing soundly beat the Premier by over 20 feet, and it even beat the much more expensive Steez by well over 10 feet. Now you're probably wondering how in the hell did this EXD beat out the Premier and the Steez? And it's pretty simple, let me show you. Now the reason why it beat all those other reels and pretty easily, I might say, is because I used the optional shallow spool that the Revo EXD came with as standard. Now in case you're wondering, uh, I'm going to put up a picture of the spool and how much line was left on it after its longest cast. As you can see, there was a few yards of line left on the spool after its longest cast. So keep that in mind if you're looking at this Revo EXD. Now I will say this, the Revo EXD definitely needs a brake dial clicker. So that means once again, and triggering butthurt fanboys everywhere, a Shimano wins and the Antares A averaged 167.63 feet and it's not quite as far as its previous effort and I attribute that to the fact that it was not as windy today and I was using a much stiffer rod than normal.
but it still averaged an excellent 167.63 feet. Now I've set an arbitrary benchmark of 150 feet or 50 yards and if any reel can average more than 50 yards or 150 foot in this contest I consider them elite. So out of all these five reels, only two reels appear to be elite. So if you are a fanboy and you find these results butt triggering, then you should know by now that I really don't care. But for all the rest of you guys who are kind of wondering why the results are the results, let me show you guys something. Now remember at the beginning of the video when I put up the graphic of all the empty spool weights? I'm going to show you guys some pictures now as well as put up a new graphic of all the spool weights once you fill them up with line to capacity. And as you can see, the last place Revo Premier went from having the second lightest weight spool to having the second heaviest spool. And that's because the Premier holds just as much line as a Shimano 200K. And I know that because I've transferred line from one reel to the other and they hold pretty much the same amount of line. Now, of course, the braking system did not help, but I'm going to go into more detail about its braking system in future videos because I've been quickly running this Revo Premier through the standardized testing up against the Revo EXD as well as the Shimano Chronarch MGL. So be on the lookout for that. Now with the Daiwa Steez, it went from having the lightest weight spool to having the second lightest weight spool, but the Steez is a victim of its own braking system. Now once again, this has the air brake system, which in my opinion is very over braked and that is really magnified when you pair it up with a spool as light as the Steez. Now I'm gonna be releasing a video of the Steez going up against the brand new 2020 Tatula SV in the very near future, so be on the lookout for that. All right, so the Fluger Patriarch XT went from having the second heaviest spool to the heaviest spool, not by a lot over the Premier, but once again, this reel is discontinued and it had nothing to lose, but it put up a great performance and that was due to its supremely fine tunable dual brake system. All right, so the Revo EXD went from having the third heaviest spool to being the lightest spool here by far because of the shallowness of the optional shallow spool. So that leaves us with the mighty Antares A. Now it had the heaviest spool here by quite a bit, but since it's only a 70 line capacity, it went from having the heaviest spool here to being the third lightest spool here. And also, I attribute the fact that I believe the Antares A probably has the best spool bearings out of this group by a significant margin. And the fact that the SBS Infinity is so good at extracting the last amount of distance from a casting plug. So I really don't see any reels coming out in the future that's going to be able to stand up to this Antares 8, except for one. And that of course is going to be the new 2020 Metanium MGL. And as soon as I get mine, we're going to put that to the test. Alright guys, thanks a lot.